In the shrouded mists of time lies a tale that has baffled scholars and mystics alike. Ancient India, a land known for its extraordinary contributions to mathematics, medicine, and philosophy, may have also been home to technologies so advanced that they defy modern understanding. Hidden within the sacred texts of the Mahabharata are glimpses of scientific marvels, test tube babies and human cloning, woven into the very fabric of these ancient epics. But is it possible that thousands of years ago, the sages of India had mastered these astonishing technologies? Could the birth of the Kauravas and Balarama be evidence of such forgotten knowledge? The answer lies deeper than we might dare to believe. In the Mahabharata, the Kauravas, a lineage of 100 brothers, emerge from a strange and almost otherworldly process. Their mother, Gandhari, after years of desperate prayers for offspring, received a blessing from the great sage Vyasa. Yet, when she gave birth, it was not a child she held in her arms. It was a lifeless lump of flesh. Grief-stricken, Gandhari lamented her fate. But the story did not end there. Vyasa, the wise sage, intervened. He ordered the lump of flesh to be divided into 100 separate pieces and placed into earthen jars filled with a mysterious substance. In time, from these jars, the Kauravas, 100 perfectly formed human beings, emerged. Was this the description of an ancient form of cloning? Dividing a single embryo into multiple beings, nurtured not in the womb, but in artificial incubators? The parallels are eerie. Modern science has only recently begun exploring the potential of cloning and artificial wombs. Yet these sacred texts may reveal that the ancients had already mastered such techniques. Could Vyasa's intervention symbolize the guiding hand of an advanced scientist, well-versed in the manipulation of human cells and the replication of life itself? The story of Balarama, the elder brother of the god Krishna, is equally perplexing. Balarama was originally conceived by Devaki, the mother of Krishna, who was imprisoned by the tyrant Kamsa. In an attempt to thwart Kamsa's murderous intent, he had vowed to kill all of Devaki's children. Balarama was mysteriously transferred from Devaki's womb to the womb of another woman, Rohini. This miraculous event spared Balarama's life, but the question lingers. How was such a transfer possible? In the ancient texts, this transfer is attributed to divine intervention. But to the modern mind, it sounds startlingly like an advanced form of surrogacy or even an embryo transfer, a medical procedure in which an embryo is implanted into the womb of another woman to ensure its safe development. Could the ancient texts of India be hinting at an understanding of reproductive science far beyond what we credit them for? Was the divine transfer a metaphor for a technology that could manipulate the genetic material of an unborn child, ensuring its survival by moving it to a safer host? For centuries, these stories have been dismissed as allegory, poetic embellishments of the spiritual grandeur of the Mahabharata. But as technology continues to advance, the lines between ancient myth and modern science grow ever thinner. If our ancestors had access to technologies like cloning and surrogacy, what other marvels of biology and medicine might they have discovered? The accounts of the Kauravas' birth and Balarama's strange transfer are more than just fantastic tales. They are windows into a time when the boundaries of science and spirituality may have been one and the same. And as we stand on the brink of breakthroughs in genetics, biotechnology, and artificial life, it's worth asking. Are we rediscovering knowledge that was once known and lost? The answer remains elusive, locked within the verses of ancient texts, waiting for someone to look beyond the surface. But one thing is certain, these stories are far too compelling to ignore. Could it be that the sages of ancient India held in their hands the power to create life itself? Only time will tell if we are the first to unlock these secrets or if we are merely retracing steps taken long ago.